Hey YouTube, what's up? Macman here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a um, new video on how to make an intro. Um, I recently made an intro on my channel, it was posted up earlier, um, and I was asked on how to do this. So I thought you guys, I thought I would show you guys um, just a little tutorial on how to do it. Um, so what you need for this video is Keynote. Um, now I saw this intro that I'm about to make, I saw this in someone else's video. Um, they used Adobe After Effects and you have to pay three dollars or whatever to get it yourself but I figured out how to make it in keynote which is like um it's like a uh what's it called a presentation where you make presentations um like business presentations or whatever I forget um but anyways yeah I felt I figured out how to make it in keynote um, so I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that um first off keynote is in the iwork 09 suite um you can buy it I think it's like 60 69 dollars or something or I don't know something around there or maybe it's a hundred um, but I'm not too sure but anyways once you get keynote um, you're gonna have these template choosers you're just gonna choose the top right one called showroom um, that's the one I use for my video you can use other ones if you'd like but I'm just gonna use this one for the video oh and also make sure that here one second make sure that um, the slide size is 1680 by 10 oh, 10.50 um so yeah that's how you're gonna get your uh, full screen hd um so then you're just gonna click on showroom and you are going to change the top text to whatever you'd like so i'm gonna do xi macman ix and then you're gonna write your slogan so mine is understand the future today to my slogan and then I'm just gonna import a picture um, so I'm gonna go insert um, choose and then choose whatever you want I got mine right here insert and then I'm just gonna move my picture right there then I'm going to go to the inspector tool right here click make sure you clicked on the picture go to um, which one is it this little ruler and then just rotate it um, slightly like that much that's, that's pretty good and then you are going to hit the text tool or no not the text tool let's see uh, here uh, this little graphic button and you're gonna click on reflection so you have that nice reflection right there once you're done that you are going to click on XI Macman IX and you're going to go to the build button which is right there that little diamond and you're going to go on build in and then change the effect to pop um, sometimes it doesn't really work like here one sec let me just hmm, one second by object by letter there we go make sure this is by letter I forgot um, to do that last time um, and then change the direction to forward or it should be already set on forward um, then you are going to select the picture again and go build in and do dissolve. Um, so then once you do that, you're going to hit more options and you're going to click start build and do automatically with build one. So that way, as soon as your text does its build in, uh, the picture will do it at the same time. Um, and yeah, then you're just going to want to change um, the font size of this. Just bring it down a bit. So I'm just going to select that all and then close this. Then once that is selected, um, you're going to want to hit your fonts tool and just bring the um, slogan down to about 35 is a good spot. Um, I'm just going to close that and slide this over to the right. Right there is good. All right, now once you are done that, you are going to add some function to this. So I'm just going to hit the inspector. Um, then I'm going to go to build in and make it dissolve, uh, which I already have on right here. Make sure the order is three, um, which is set right now. And then you're, if you want to make it move to the left, like I have it in my video, just go to action. Effect, you want to do it to move. And then drag this little slider thing um, to the left. Now, as you can see, you can see um, two um, 
of the same um, slogan. Uh, the dark one is where it starts, and the lighter one is where it finishes. Um, so then once you've done that, um, just click out of there. I'm just going to close this. So now if I hit play, um, that starts up nicely, and then it moves to the left, just like that. Um, so that looks good. And then I'm just going to close that. Now, um, if you saw in my video, I have like a lens flare um, across the XI Mac Man. So how to do this is you're just going to select um, this layer. So I'm just going to command all. Then you're going to copy it, command C, and then you want to paste it again. Uh, oops. Yeah, I just pasted in the text by accident. Command V. All right, so now you have two texts of XI Mac Man. Okay, then you are just going to drag this one up on the top for a bit. Um, doesn't matter for now. You're going to want to hit the inspector tool, build in, effect, and go down to lens flare. Um, so as you can see up here, it adds that nice lens flare. Then you're just going to drag that on top of your old XI Mac Man layer. Um, just so you can't see um, that there's two layers. Uh, this is causing me a bit of trouble right now. Let me just move this a bit. Alright, one second. There. So as you can see, it only looks like there is one photo. I'm just going to adjust everything. And now if I were to hit play. There we go. And it looks all nice. Um, that's exactly how I have it in my video. And, oh, I forgot to add. Um, I have like a little line here. If you want to add that little line, you just go shapes. Um, hit the line button. And then, pretty simple, just make a line and put it about right there. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then if you want to record this video, um, you have to have screen flow, which is what I used to record my video and which I'm using right now. Um, so I have a link if you want to download that. I have another video. So go check that out. And then uh, once you've done that, you're just going to want to hit um, just start recording. Then just hit play. And use your arrow keys to start everything. Um, this is what I did. And then um, whenever you're done, just uh, stop recording. And then just edit out the parts where you see like this part. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, and then all you have to do is export the screen flow video. Um, and I have a video on how to export that in HD. So if you want to learn how to do that, just check it out. Um, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like helps me out a lot just it's right down here right down there um i really enjoy when you guys like my videos um and yeah that's pretty much it so rate comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace